In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple Excel file in Java or how to read from it. So let's get started. First, I'm going to show you how to create a simple Excel file that you can see on the right side of the screen. So as you can see, we have three columns, name, age and date of birth. And the first row represents a header and other rows represent actual data. You can use different libraries to create such a file in Java, but for this example, we will be using Apache POI library, which is also the most commonly used library for creating Excel files. I have prepared a simple Maven project with two classes for writing and reading from Excel file. And if we take a look at POM XML file, you can see that I have two dependencies defined for Apache POI library. The first one has POI artifact ID and the second one has POI OOXML artifact ID. You need both dependencies if you want to create newer Excel files with XLSX extension. If you don't know how to create a new Maven project, please check out my other video where I explain this from start to end. And at the final step, just add those two dependencies and you are ready to go. Okay, now let's go back to the code so I can explain it. And by the way, this whole project is also available for you for free on my GitHub repository. So please don't forget to check out the link from the description below. Okay, let's start at the main method. First, we are creating a reference to Excel file with the name Excel XLS6 that will be created inside our project because we are using a relative path. Then we pass this Excel file reference to our Excel writer constructor where we also immediately create a new XSSF workbook instance. This workbook is basically a high level representation of your Excel file and enables all write and read operations. Then we are creating a sheet with name sheet one, which you can also see here. And we are setting a width of the third column to 15 characters, because as you can see here, the default width is too short for this date of birth value. Then after we create this Excel writer instance, we call this write to Excel file method, which creates all of the data you can see here. First, we create a header row and then we create a five content rows. So let's first take a look at create header row method. To create a row, we have to call a create row method on the sheet object, which takes an index of a row and this is zero based. So that means that zero represents a first row inside our sheet. To create an actual cell inside row, we have to call a create cell method on the row object, which also takes a zero based index of the column. This returns a reference to a cell. So to set a specific cell value, we have to call a set cell value or to set a style, we have to call set set style method. As you can see, I have put the code inside the helper method because we are calling the same code three times for each column inside header. Please know that we are creating a header style only once by calling a create cell style method on the workbook. And this style represents a light yellow color on each cell with a thin border at the bottom. The same principles can also be used for creating other content rows. So let me now quickly show you how we create one. So as you can see, this method has four parameters. The first one is the row index and the rest are data parameters. So for each index, we are creating a row. And then for each data parameter, we are creating a cell with a specific cell value. The only new thing here is setting a style for birthday cell, because if you don't set a specific date format, then the Excel will display all the dates as a number. When you are done manipulating the workbook, you have to write it to the actual Excel file. We do this by calling the last method. So we are basically creating a file output stream from the Excel file. And then we are writing workbook to this output stream. And then we are closing both stream and the workbook. Okay, now I will run the program so you can see the actual result. But first I need to close the recent file. And then I also need to delete it from my project folder. And then I can go back and press Ctrl F11. And you can see that it says Excel file created. And if I go back and open it, you can see that it is the same as before. 
Ok, now that you know how to create an Excel file in Java, let me quickly show you how you can also read from it. For this purpose I have prepared a new class Excel Reader, which is similar as Excel Writer. So first we are creating a reference to Excel file and then under constructor we are creating a workbook. And then finally when this is initialized we are calling a read from Excel file method. Before explaining this method let me first run the program so you can see the output. So let me press Ctrl F11 and you can see the output. This method has two for loops. The first for loop goes for each row inside sheet and the second one goes for each cell inside row. And as you can see from the output for each row we are printing a new line and then after each cell value we are also printing a tab character so it is nicely aligned. Now let's take a quick look inside this print cell value method. As you can see here we need to first check a cell type before printing its value. So if it is string then we print a string cell value so this is name over here. But it, if it is numeric we have to first check if cell is date formatted and if it is we are printing date cell value so this is date of birth over here. But in other cases we are printing just a numeric cell value and this is age over here. And that's it guys, I really hope that you have learned something new today. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Also, if you found this video valuable, please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next one.